most of us rely heavily on our phones to connect us to our friends, family, and business contacts. And um, uh, that's been true for uh, a very, very long time. However, um, innovation in regards to telephony has been pretty slow. Um, we had the cordless phone, we had the cell phone, but the basic component of the phone um, has remained unchanged for a long time until now. Um, Google has developed a um, very um, neat and innovative um, telephone service called Google Voice and it solves some um, basic issues with uh, telephony. Um, for example, you know, if you have, uh, most people have multiple numbers, they might have a cell phone, a home phone, and a business phone. If I need to contact someone, I call their cell phone if they don't answer, I call their home phone if they don't answer, I might call their business phone. I have to call each phone number and leave a message on each um, voicemail and then hope that the person will check each voicemail and then respond. Um, if you leave your phone at home, you can't make calls using it. Um, uh, you can only check your voicemail for each phone. So for each number you have a separate voicemail you have to keep track of, respond to. Um, you can't get messages out of your voicemail. Um, there's no connection between voicemail and your personal computer. So these are some of the issues that Google engineers identified and have addressed using Google Voice. So let's go ahead and uh, sign up for a Google Voice account. I'm just going to go to Google and type in Google Voice and use the first result. Doing this does require a Google account. And once I sign in, it will um, guide me through the process of setting up a Google Voice account. Once you have your account set up, you'll be able to access the various features of Google Voice. This is my personal account, and I'll kind of just show you some of the things that you can do. Um, I would recommend after your account is set up, you go into uh, the settings, hold this arrow down and go to voice settings. And um, here is where you can um, add additional numbers if you have another cell phone or a work phone that you want to add. I also have enabled um, my Google Voice or a Gmail account or Google Chat account to access um, my Google Voice number so that I can send and receive calls from within Gmail. Um, that service is offered free of charge. Um, it's just been extended through all of 2011, which is kind of a neat thing. Um, here's your voicemail greetings where you can record um, different greetings for different groups of people. I have several recorded um, business recordings, personal recordings, generic ones. Um, down at the bottom here, the voicemail transcripts, um, I think this is a, a wonderful feature. When this is uh, enabled, voicemails will be transcribed into text and emailed to you. Transcription isn't perfect, but you can generally figure out uh, who the call is from and the basic message um, that they're trying to leave for you. Um, here's some other options. Call screening if you want to be able to hear who is calling before you take the call. You can enable that. Um, and then some different caller ID numbers that you will um, want to take a look at. Your Google Voice account integrates with your address book from within Gmail. So whatever groups that you've set up, you can apply special filters for them. So you can see my friends, families, coworkers, etc. Um, and I can set those um, as I wish. I can give them a special greeting. Um, and I can, I can I have a lot of granularity here, which is really cool. This is the call widget um, option. You can create these widgets um, and embed them in your blog or wiki or whatever. Might be nice for a teacher um, to embed on a class page so that students can either call and leave messages or families. You could also use this as a messaging service, not really to receive calls, but to give out information. So when a student or a family would call this number, they would receive a recorded message from you, which gives them information. If you go to, um, and create a new widget, um, you can uh, see 
where the what phone will ring when someone uses the widget to contact you. So you can set it to ring your mobile number, your email, or send it straight to voicemail. So if you wanted to just um, have students or parents hear a recorded message, you would send it to voicemail directly and then record a special greeting for that. If you make a lot of international calls, you can add credits to call all over the world. Their rates are very uh, reasonable, and those are the rates there. And then this is where um, you would manage your account as a whole. And uh, if you visit your Google account settings, you can deactivate your account if you wish. Let's go back to the inbox. These are calls that I have received, and you can see the transcription of those calls. I can click play and hear the message uh, played back to me, Hi, John. This is Hillary Reddick. Um, which is neat. If I click this more arrow, I can add a note. Uh, this would be really nice if you make a lot of calls to families and you need to, you know, make note of what was said or, um, you know, action notes. You can do that there. Uh, you can also download the call as an MP3. And that's kind of neat because you could actually call yourself, record something, then download that recording as an MP3 and share it with students who struggle with reading so that they could hear you read a story as they read along with it. So that would be a, a neat application for that. Um, you can also embed the call into your blog or wiki. Again, if you called yourself, recorded a message, you could embed that into your um, class page for students to play back. Here's my history of calls that I've made previously. Um, you can also send text messages, um, record things. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. To place a call up in the top left corner, just click that button, type it in, and then um, select which number you want to call through. When I click connect, Right now it will call my mobile phone and then connect me to the person that I've, um, I'm trying to reach. And then text, just type in their number in the message and they will receive your text message. So this is Google Voice. I think it has some very interesting applications for educators in the classroom. I've put together a list of my top 10 ways that Google Voice could be used in an educational setting that is also posted on iTunes as a PDF which you can download and read.